Hey guys, I'm just doing some uh, work on uh, e-bike alarms, and uh, I picked this one up from Amazon. And actually, there was a re couple of reviews on it that uh, people said that works pretty good for e-bikes, and it does, actually. Uh, one of the bigger issues I have with it is the board, or the alarm itself, has broken away on the inside, as you can hear. It wasn't like that when I bought it and it's very very hard on the battery I picked up this battery for like almost three bucks and this battery lasted exactly a week so this this thing draws way too much MA milliamps and, and there's no way to really turn it off unless you want to keep reaching under the bike and pulling the battery out if it had maybe a switch on the side that would make it a better product but you know, it comes with the remote. It's got nice soft rubber buttons. Like I said, a nice product, and it does work pretty good. But uh, this is just such a poor setup. Um, if they could reprogram it so it doesn't draw so much MA from the battery, uh, it'd be great. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is pop it open so you guys can have a look on the inside because it's like I said, it's pretty much coming apart anyway. And uh, we'll see what uh, type of um, speaker that it's got in it. Okay, let's make sure, make sure I got you guys in the shot here. So we'll start with this. This is the cover. It's not going back together the way it came apart anyway. Hmm. You can glue it back together if I wanted to. But uh, I probably won't make it into something else there we go nice solid chunk of plastic that's sitting in there not even glued actually nope it's designed to pop apart wow I don't get much cheaper than that <laughs> that's brutal and there's your uh, electronics it's got a separate Wi-Fi antenna you could actually separate that board there. You can use it for other devices. Ha oh, ha. Yeah. It's a four pin. So two of the pins would be for your voltage. And the other two are like, that's basically probably just a switch right there. So you could use this remote on something other device. Hmm. Interesting. This is the type of alarm you would find in a smoke detector. That's why it's not very loud. It's just ceramic. Not much to it. There's no, I don't even see any type of pinout or anything on it to show you what anything really is. Your guess is as good as mine. Huh. Nothing on the other side of that. Well, that's about it. Like I said, it does work. In fact, it doesn't have a switch to turn it off. Kind of a kind of stupid. So it sounds like when it's on, and put my finger over it so it doesn't go off. So it's very it's pretty sensitive to uh, knocking or uh, getting it to go off. It doesn't have the, it must be something in the circuit like or in the IC that uh, senses movement because there's no, you know, the cheap ones have the spring. This one doesn't have a spring. So there it's set. It's getting, it's getting quieter and quieter. The battery's dead. But yeah, it runs through the batteries pretty quickly. I figured I'd show you that. Um, you probably could wire it up and power it right off the bike. I've I don't know if I've tested this one. What's the lowest, lowest voltage you can go on it? Um, the capacitor in it is 10 volts. So if you change the capacitor, you probably could pump 12 volts through the sucker. Hmm. Do I dare try it? Let's try it. Okay, this is a quick test at 12 volts. Exactly 12 volts. 
So this is, uh, I probably could wire this directly into the e-bike. But I would still replace that one capacitor because it's only rated for 10. No, it's not hot yet. Let's see if it, uh, it actually functions. Yeah, works pretty good actually. Actually, I can feel my finger pulsing on that thing. It works pretty good. Yep, so it will work at 12 volts. And it's cool. So put a 12 volt or a 13 volt cap in there at uh, 70 UF. And just patch it right into the bike. Here, guys.